Hello Rail fans and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this P&W GP38 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build. So as usual, we're going to start off with the rear coupler. So take a dark oak stair and attach it up under a dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom middle, we're going to put three black stone brick stairs coming across the center facing backwards then an upside down stair facing outward on either side above that we're going to put five brown concrete across here then in front of it in the middle a three block tall t-shape of brown concrete then we're going to put a torch on either side of the second layer and in front of that a five by three of brown concrete side gap we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs and three on this side then on this top middle back here we're going to put three upside down dark oak stairs up here in the middle then come on bottom and open a dark oak fence gate above each rail then we're going to put two end rods here and two on this other side then up here Put a wither skeleton skull on either side and a fence gate in the middle. Now we're going to come in front of this on bottom and put a fence gate above each rail. In front of that we're going to do a netherite wheel on each rail and in the middle a chiseled polished black stone block between the wheels. Then a black stone brick slab on the upper hip box, then two fence gates, then another black stone brick slab, then a chiseled polished black stone block. Then put a netherite wheel here in here and a fence gate on the end of each of these wheels. In this gap across here put four sideways lightning rods above the rail, four on this side. Then we're going to come through and put a hopper on the side of all four of the wheels. Then we're going to crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on each of the hoppers. Come to this side and do the same thing. Put one on each of these hoppers. Then we'll come up top with black stone brick block in the middle and do a line up the center and come one block past these fence gates. Then we're going to put a full row of dark oak fence gates on the side here and a full row on this side. Then we'll take black stone brick block again and we're coming in front of this one block forward on the bottom and we're going to go three wide with it and start bringing it forward and we're going to make that 11 blocks long. So a three by 11 of polished black stone brick block. Then on the side of it, a full row of upside down black stone brick stairs and a full row of upside down stairs on this side here. Then we're gonna come on top of the front with black stone brick block. In the center, we're gonna do a three by three right here. Then on the back of this, do a three by three in the center back here. And then across this gap, go three wide on the upper hip box with black stone brick slabs in the middle and bring it up to here. So you get this little gap in there. Then come in front of this on bottom, a fence gate on each rail again. In front of that, another right wheel on each rail. In the middle, chiseled polished black stone. Then a black stone brick slab, two fence gates, a black stone brick slab, and a chiseled polished black stone. Then another right wheel here and here and a fence gate on the ends of these wheels. Then four lightning rods above the rail here, four on this side. Then we'll come through and we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we'll crouch, same as before, and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. And then same thing on this side over here. Then we'll come up top with black stone brick block and do a line up the center till you're aligned with these front fence gates. Then we'll put a full line of fence gates on this side and a full line of fence gates on this side over here. Then in front of this we're going to do a 5 by 3 of black stone brick block coming out to each side. Then a 3 block tall T shape in the middle. 
put a torch on either side of the second layer of this T-shape. So one here, and one here. Then on the bottom, middle, and front of this, three black stone brick stairs facing forward, and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, we'll do a block in the center, and two upside down stairs facing forward on either side of it. Then three up down, side down stairs on the top middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate, then open a fence gate on either side. Then we'll do two end rods here, two on this side. Then on this top middle, we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on either side and a fence gate in the middle. Then we're gonna put three smooth court slabs coming up this side gap for stairs and three on this side. Then we're gonna swing around on this side, up at the front of the fuel tank. We're gonna change this fence gate to a block and put a bell on the side of it. Behind this bell, we're gonna do a mangrove button, then a mangrove sign, and then behind that, we're gonna put one single sideways dark oak fence gate. Then same thing on this side. So a button, a sign, and a fence gate. Then we need to grab a string and an anvil. We're going to come to the back of the fuel tank on bottom behind this stair, put a string on bottom here and on this side. Then come up here behind this fence gate and do a full line of anvils until one sticking out over that string. And then same thing on this side, start over the string and a full line of anvils here. Then we're gonna come stand up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then move one hitbox down, one here and here, one here, one here. Then we need to repeat it at the back, so come back here and crouch. Put a slab on top of all four hoppers. Then move a hitbox down, one here, here, one here, one here. Then in between these two slabs where the gap is, we're gonna put two deep slate tile walls right here, two on this side, then repeat it for the front truck. So two here, and two over here. Then we'll put two fence gates on the side middle, and same thing on the back truck. Then get the other side, two here, and up here, two here. Then we're gonna put the skeleton skull above each wheel. So here and here, same thing on this side. Then come up here and crouch and put a lightning rod here and here, one here and one here. Repeat it back here, so a skeleton skull above all four of these wheels. Then come up here and crouch, do a lightning rod here and here, one here, and one here. Then we're gonna come up on top on this third layer, and we're gonna go three wide in the middle with black stone brick block, and we're gonna bring that all the way across the middle three down to the other end of the locomotive. Right down to the back here. Then on this top outside edge, on the upper hitbox, we're gonna do a full line of smooth quartz slabs up here and bring it to the other end. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. A full row of smooth quartz slabs on this side and bring it down all the way to the other end. And now the base is done and we'll start working on the nose. So we're gonna come on top of the front on the third block in in the middle, do two orange concrete and a brown concrete. Then two orange and a brown here, two orange and a brown here. Then one on this middle of brown concrete. Then down here, we're gonna do an orange concrete here, two in the middle and a brewing stand here, then two orange concrete here. A two by two of orange on this side, and then start filling the top with brown concrete, except this back middle block up here needs to be a brown wool. Then put a temporary block behind it, 
put a dark oak trap door on it, and open it, take out the temporary block. Come on the front and crouch and put a brown banner over this trap door. Then we're going to come down in this corner, and we're going to put two orange shulker boxes here. Come on this side, and two here. Then on this side on bottom, we're going to do four more orange shulker boxes and an orange concrete. Then start on the back and do five orange concrete coming forward right here. On this side, we're going to do four orange shulker boxes. Then we're going to start on the back and do five orange concrete coming forward right here. Then up here, we'll do three brown concrete at the back, a dark oak door here, turn this way, and one going forward here. On this side, three brown concrete at the front, then a dark oak door here, turn this way, and one going backwards here. Then up here, we'll do two stained glass panes and a brown concrete. And same thing over here, two stained glass panes and a brown concrete. Then come over here and put a white stained glass pane on this side for a mirror. Then on this top outside edge, we'll put four outward facing dark oak stairs up here, and four on this side. We'll fill the whole middle of this cab roof with brown concrete between the stairs here. Then one on the front middle, and a brown stained glass pane on either side like that. Then we're going to come down here, and we need to crouch and put a brown banner over this side door so that it hides on the side view. Same thing here, crouch on this side and put a brown banner over this door on the side. Then we're going to come back here on this side, two ladders, and in this corner, two red sandstone walls right here. Now we'll come down to the back end on the third block end, and we're going to change this one and this one to black wool. Then do a pattern of orange concrete like this, two blocks tall. And on top of that, three layers of brown concrete in that same pattern. Then one in this top middle. On these bottom corners, put two orange gla stained glass panes on either side. And then three brown stained glass panes above it on each side. Then we'll come in front of this, one block in from the outer edge. And we're going to do two layers of orange concrete coming forward. All the way up the locomotive here. bring it up until it's right here behind the cap. Then do the same thing on this side, two full layers of orange concrete coming all the way down the side to the back. Then above the orange concrete we'll go to brown concrete again and we're going to do a single layer of brown concrete coming all the way forward up each side. Right up to the front here. Then up here, we're going to put one brown concrete on either side, here and here, three across the top. Behind it, three brown concrete on either side, then three polished basalt on either side. Up here, a three by three of dark oak slabs. Then, behind it, we need a two by two brown concrete coming all the way across here, three wide, and cover the top with dark oak trapdoors. Then behind that, We'll do a single layer of brown concrete on each side and bring it all the way down to the back on either side here. Then on this top middle back here, we're going to do seven bedrock coming forward up to the center. Then we'll do three iron bars of brown concrete and three iron bars. Same thing on this side, three iron bars of brown concrete and three iron bars. Then fill the rest of this roof in front of it, three wide with brown concrete, and bring it up till it meets up up here. Then take out dark oak slabs, come up here, do a plus shape here, and a plus shape here for the fans, and put an oak trap door in the center of each of them. Then we're going to come over to this other side on the bottom, come behind these two walls, and do a line of acacia slabs across here, and we're going to come back till we're over this first back wheel here. Then come up in this corner and do three orange stained glass panes here, and two rows of three brown stained glass panes above it. Then we're gonna come on the side of the top, up here, with a dark oak stair. We're gonna come one block behind these trap doors, put an upside down forward facing stair, three outward facing deep slate tile, and one backward facing dark oak. Then copy that pattern directly across to this side. Up on top in the middle of this, do a plus shape of dark oak slabs in the center, 
then we need a flower pot for the exhausts. We're gonna put one here and one here. Now knock out the center of this, put in a bedrock and an oak trap door. Then we're gonna come up on top of the cab. At the back on this side, put a lever right here. Then on this front middle, open a dark oak fence gate and a sideways one behind it. Then we're gonna come down here and cover this whole nose with brown carpet. Then come up top and anywhere we haven't built something, we're gonna cover it three wide up here with brown carpet. Come back here and get down in between here and five across the sides and around here and across this side. Then get in between these fans and down in between the fans here and then down and around the back here. Then we're gonna come on this back porch down here. We need to switch to black carpet and we're gonna do a T-shape of black carpet here. Then start right here with it and bring it all the way forward up this walkway. Then come up here and crouch. And we're gonna get two on these shulker boxes. Then come around this corner, a T-shape on the front porch, around this corner, here, and on this shulker box. Then we'll come down behind these acacia slabs back here and do a line across here till you're on top of this brown concrete. Then we'll come back up front here. Take out birch fences on the front right here. We're going to come up by four. Then right here, we're going to go up three and over one. And up two right here. Repeat it on this side. So up four here. Here, up three. Over one. Two here. Then go to acacia fence. Put two here. Two here. And a chain across the gap. Then take your acacia fence right here. Put two here. And then come back three. Then come over on this side. Right here. We're going to come over one, up one. Over one, up one, over one. Then we'll come to the back. Go back to birch fences. Here we're going to come up four. Here we're going to come up three. And over one. And up two. Same thing here. We're going to come up three. Over one. Up two. Then up by four right here. Then two acacia fences here. Two here. And a chain across the gap. Then take your acacia fence right here. Connect it up. And bring it forward up this walkway. When we get right here. We're going to come up two. Over one. Then we'll do the other side. So come to the back over here with acacia fence. Connect it up right here. And just bring it straight forward. And we'll stop right here in front of these walls. Now we're going to come on the side here. Put an acacia sign right here. With 2-0. And then another sign with 1-1. One, one. Hit them both with white dye and a glow ink tag. Then we'll repeat it on this side. So right here, an acacia sign with 2-0, and another one with 1-1. One, one. Hit them both with white dye and a glow ink sack each. Then we're going to come up front with a glow item frame here. And on the front, on either of these corners with the fences here, we're going to put one here, one here with frog lights in them. Then we'll come on this top middle, do a glow item frame with a frog light, then on either side of it, we'll do a dark oak sign with 2011. And we'll hit both of those, each with white dye and a glowing set. Then we'll move down to detail the rear end. So we'll come back here. Back here on the top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light up here for the rear headlight. Then move one block down on each side and do a dark oak sign with 2011 on each side again having some trouble get, getting the right number typed. Then hit both of these with white dye and a glowing sack. Then down here, we're going to open an acacia fence gate, a dark oak fence gate, and one on the top of that left-hand side there. Now we need to make some banners, so we're going to come into a loom with a brown banner and orange dye. Make the bottom half orange, then put a white horizontal stripe on the middle. Then a new brown banner 
in white dye. We're going to put a vertical on the left and then make the top half white. New banner. A vertical on each side and a triangle on bottom. Go to brown dye and put a border around these two letter banners. Then we'll do a brown banner and orange dye again. And we're going to make the bottom half of it orange. Then go to white dye, put a horizontal stripe on the bottom, on the middle, and on the top. So it looks like that. And this will be our logo and all of our pinstriping. So we'll come and place this. So we're going to come up on the side of the locomotive here. And we're going to come under the back of this dynamic brake blister. And we're going to put it crossing where the orange and brown concrete meet. And right here at the back, we're going to put PW here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Come under this dynamic brake blister and put PW here. On this side in front of the W, we're going to do the banner with three white stripes and bring it all the way up to the cab. Then on this other side, we go behind the W, but it's on the back this time, and bring it to the back. Then we'll switch to the banner that's orange and brown with one white stripe, and do a line of banners across here, one here, one here. Then we're gonna have to crouch and put one on the bottom of this door, so that the stripe continues. Then we'll come up here, put one right here, then one on each of these three front box, three on this side of the nose, one right here, then same thing, we'll have to crouch and put it over the bottom of this door here, so it looks like that. Then we'll come back here behind the letters and do a line to the back, and then if you want, you can put two on the back, it depends if you want banners hanging there or not. Then we have two more banners to make, so we're going to come back into a loom, we're going to do a, an orange banner and white dye, Put a horizontal on top, then a black banner and brown dye, put a border on, make the bottom half brown. This orange and white one is for this gap, so put one here. Then we're going to take the other one and put it here. Then we'll switch to the brown and black banner, and we're going to put one on the front here for a window, and then on the back of the cab, one on this side for a window. And now we'll do the interior. So come on inside the cab here. We'll put some frog lights in the bottom for hidden lighting, and then we'll fill in this floor with smooth stone slabs at the same level of the doors. Then a stair here and here for seats. On the front middle, a netherite with two levers. In this back middle, we'll put two blast furnaces to cover the hole. And now the interior is done. So there we have it, folks. That completes our p and GP38 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.